Woo! Hey everyone, this is Gerald from Daily Crypto Trade Channels coming to you live, live from Vietnam, guys. Howdy, howdy, howdy. And what is going on, guys? What is going on with Bitcoin? What is going on with cryptocurrency right now? A lot of people are Debbie Downing uh, out there. And we are seeing that, you know, right now, uh, Bitcoin is around about 23,000 and some change out there. And a lot of people have been wondering, what what's going on? Is this some huge, massive bull trap that we're in? And and, uh, you know, some people have been saying, you know, that, you know, maybe Bitcoin is going to go down to $12,000. And I'm, I'm sensing, I'm sensing, uh, you know, in a lot of the comments on uh, my YouTube channel, a lot of comments in the live streams, that people are getting pretty fearful out there. Coffee time! That people are actually getting pretty fearful out there. And uh, people are, you know, not panicking, but people are semi-panicking. So, you know... Let's talk about what exactly is going on from my perspective, uh, where I see Bitcoin, uh, Dogecoin, uh, Shiba Inu going, and uh, we're going to jump into that. And remember, everything you see here is not financial advice, just OG in the house expressing my opinion. Uh, I mean, it's early morning. I'm still, still, still having my Joe, having my Joe, my Crypto Daily Trade Signals Cup. Get to merch, guys. So, you know, also some people are kind of also getting, uh, you know, they're Debbie Downing because of the whole Shibirim thing. We did see uh, Rai Oshi yesterday uh, on his Twitter. He, you know, changed his, uh, he changes not his banner, but the, you know, the, the taglines on his, uh, on his Twitter to a dot. Pretty similar to what Elon Musk had done in the past as well. And a lot of people say, well, that's notating that it's finished and this and that. So, you know, uh, so it is what it is. I mean, I thought that would, you know, we would have it coming out. Uh, I think Wednesday, I think Wednesday, I think Wednesday we're gonna see the big, the big reveal guys, the big reveal. Uh, interesting also 76,000 uh, new addresses for bones. So that's interesting. So let's get back in, let's get, let's, I digress, I digress. Let's get back into the content. So, you know, what's going on? We know Bitcoin is down, most of crypto market is, uh, most of crypto market is down. It is what it is. It, it, it just, it's, it's, it's life. It's life in the big city. I know it sucks for a lot of you out there, uh, particularly, you know, the short term holders and the newbies in crypto who, you know, every time we have a spike, uh, it's like the end of the world or we, you know, we have a, a not a spike, but, you know, a dump. It's the end of the world. It ain't the end of the world. Uh, don't panic out there. So, you know, one of the reasons that we are seeing that we're in this situation now is that, you know, stocks closed lower Friday after hot inflation uh, report. And, you know, major averages logged the worst week, the worst week in 2023. And that's what happened. The, the stocks tanked, uh, and when the stocks tanked, it took down the crypto markets. And that was all, that was all the PCE data. And the PCE data, people were expecting it to be a, a good result, but it wasn't. It was a bad result. And it was like, what? CPI data was good, so why would the PCE data not be good? So uh, that just kind of like panicked everybody. And because of that, a lot of people are like, hey, it looks like the Fed, the Freddy Fed Fed, is going to be, uh, you know, they're going to continue their aggressive rate hikes out there. Uh, and they're going to not only continue their aggressive rate hikes, they're also going to be extending the number of months that we're going to be seeing more interest rates uh, hikes going up. So that's what really kind of scared off the market. Okay, so let's 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 move on from that. We're seeing that Ethereum is down, uh, Dogecoin, Dogecoin is down as well. Uh, Dogecoin is trading around about eight cents. Not too good, not too good at all. We're seeing that Shiba Inu is at uh, twelve hundred out there. Not too good out there. Uh, basically, all of our all of our all of our support levels are have been hit. They're holding. Uh, will they continue to hold? Don't know. Don't know. Absolutely don't know. Uh, I'm hoping that there's enough strength that they will hold. Uh, but if they don't hold, then we're probably going to see that, you know, Dogecoin is probably going to go down to like seven cents. We'll probably see Shiba Inu go down to uh, 1000, right? 1000. We'll probably see uh, Bitcoin, like I said, is at 23,000 23, bucks. Remember, only a week ago at 24. Uh, if this continues, we could see uh, $22,000 coming in. We did see that uh, uh, Bitcoin did drop below uh, 23,000 uh, to 22,000. Thousand and nine hundred ish. So that's what that's what's going on, guys. So let's jump into more content. Let's continue on this discussion, guys. Why is Bitcoin dumping? Is this a bull trap? Is this the end? Is this time? Is it time to sell all my Dogecoin? Is it time to get out of the markets? Is it time to absolutely?
absolutely, you know, panic sell, walk away from crypto forever. Let's discuss that. I mean, remember, do keep in mind that we have we had six six months of the inflation data looking good. Okay, just to just to kind of you know put it in perspective, and so we had six months of the inflation data looking good, and then we had one one month where the PCE data was bad. And everybody, everybody is freaking out. Literally, everyone is freaking out. And that, you know, that's also you know the sentiment. You know, so people freak out. The stocks go down. People freak out more because the stocks are going down. Then, because people are freaking out because the stocks are going down, then the crypto community is freaking out because the stocks are going down because the PCE data is going down. So they start selling. Uh, more people start freaking out because people are selling the crypto the prices go down, more people are freaking out. So it just kind of creates this whole cascading snowball effect. And it's all, it's all, it's all sentiment driven. It's absolutely all freaking sentiment driven, okay? Uh, so what happens is we need some good news. Don't forget, we got PCI, P, uh, CPI data coming out uh, around about the 12th uh, of uh, March. So I think it's gonna be positive. It, let's hope it's gonna be positive. If not, it's gonna be a, a, a Dumsky, a Dunsky. Uh, it'd be like the Titanic. The Titanic out there. So hopefully it's going to get better, guys. So whether you're looking at it from a macro or tactical perspective, uh, it is what it is. I mean, you know, if you're a chartist or a technical person, yeah, if you'll take a look at Bitcoin on, on the hourly, Bitcoin is oversold. And uh, from that perspective, Bitcoin uh, being hugely oversold was ready for a correction. And we're seeing that correction. So, you know, like I said, it's the macro environment. It's the, it's the technicals. Bitcoin is oversold on the hourly. And all of this stuff that's going on, the negative sentiment, that is why, uh, that is absolutely why Bitcoin, Bitcoin is down. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh, I mean, we're still, we're still on track for the next halving, 2025. We're still on track. Uh, we will recover from this. We will go up. We're absolutely going to go up. It's, it's, it's inevitable. It's absolutely inevitable. Keep in mind that only two months ago, uh, only two months ago, Bitcoin was hovering around sixteen thousand dollars. So for us to go from sixteen thousand to where we are right now, this is a huge recovery, guys. It's a huge recovery, and you know, year to date, Bitcoin is still still up. Uh, you know, still up over thirty percent, over thirty five percent. So from that perspective. It's positive, but in the short term, people don't see that as positive because people like fear that, you know, the, the rate hikes are going to be crazy and the economy is rushing and all that stuff. You know, and WW3 is coming and the, the sky is falling. You know, you know, it's like it's like the, it's like the kids' movie Chicken Run, guys. I, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You can see here this is Bitcoin on the uh, daily on on the daily. And if you take a look at the Bitcoin right now, it's broken above the 200 day moving average. And every time we see Bitcoin break above the 200 day moving average, often great things happen, guys. Absolutely great things will happen. So the question is, are we gonna you know, go down, retest the 200 day uh, daily moving average? Uh, and, and you know, if we do retest it and we're successful, Bitcoin will go up. Bitcoin will go up, it always goes up. So yeah, I, I think that we're gonna see a retest. You saw the blue line on the previous chart. That is the 200 day moving average. We are above the 200 day moving average. Uh, you know, if we if we go down to 18,000, then we're gonna dip below it. But so far, we're still above it. And that's always been a good area of breakout for Bitcoin, a good area of recovery. And keep in mind that only two months ago, two months ago, Bitcoin was around $16,000. So to go from 16 to where we are right now, uh, it's, a, it's a huge recovery. It's a huge recovery. So, you know, so far, being above the 200 day moving average on the daily is looking good. Sure, Bitcoin is oversold. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And Bitcoin in 2019 had a very, very similar, similar uh, fractal pattern. You know, it, it, it was down, hit the bottom, recovered up from the bottom, retested the 200 day moving average kind of languished around the 200 day moving average, language, language, created a double top, then broke out. And we're seeing pretty much the same thing. A good recovery, moved above the 200 day moving average for Bitcoin. We, we you know, we've got, we've, we've retested it a couple of times. Now we're broken above it. 
And you know, if we take a look at the 2019 fractal, then definitely we're gonna see something very similar uh, out there, guys. So don't panic, do not panic out there. So if we take a look at the markets right now, we're seeing, we're seeing a huge, huge, huge sea of red out there. Uh, yeah, good morning and, and whatever out there. And I know that you're looking at it and you're like, what, 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 what? So getting back to the what, 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 we're seeing that Bitcoin right now is at uh, 23,132, uh, 137 down, slightly down. We're seeing that uh, Ethereum is down uh, 1,594. Uh, we're seeing that BNB over here is also down. It's down. Uh, our beloved Doge right over here, guys. Our Doge Uwozer is also down uh, right now. So it's down 0 0.8. It's at 8 cents. So the 8 cents, 8 cents level is holding. And that's not too bad, guys. We're holding 8 cent level. I think this is going to be a very solid hold. Solid, solid hold. This is the OG uh, OG you know, morning morning uh, effect. I got to get to work. Uh, also seeing Shiba Inu, like I said, is also just holding... It's at zero twelve cent. The automatic is at one point two four. So overall, it's not looking good. It's kind of like a it's kind of like a poo -poo day out there. And you know, talking about poo -poo day, it looks like you know, it looks like we got a pretty much a poo -poo day here in uh, Da Nang. We got the ocean over there. I don't know if you can see that uh, over there. We got the ocean over there. Uh, there's a whole bunch of cool stuff. So, you know, what do the OG have planned today? Well, I gotta go to work. Uh, as usual, had a massive, massive, had a massive wedding yesterday, like 900, 900 uh, people uh, wedding, massive, massive fireworks, a whole, whole bunch of stuff. So that was pretty cool. Uh, we got another another big wedding today happening. Uh, things are around about 800 people today uh, at the hotel. So things are, things are, things are pumping. Things are pumping at the hotel. There's a red chair of knowledge. I haven't been in this for us. So let's get in a red chair of knowledge. Get in a red chair of knowledge. You know, cozy out there. So yeah, guys, I know it's not looking good. Uh, from that perspective, things are things are overall are looking bad uh, out there, and I wouldn't pa panic too much. We got we got people sitting on the balcony. Look, people sitting on the balcony over there. You know, <laughs> this is what it is. Uh, that's the Sheraton, by the way. If you're wondering, if you're wondering what that is, that is the Sheraton Hotel right there. Uh, you know, this is Sheraton. So from that perspective, you know, it's 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 not good. Things are things are things are not looking good. But we will recover. We always recover. It's a, you know, and we had these ups and downs. Keep in mind that Bitcoin has you know recovered from sixteen thousand two months ago to where we are today at twenty three thousand. So not too bad overall. Not too bad. Uh, you know, Ethereum is doing its thing, and most of the crypto markets are down. That's because Bitcoin is down, and, and it's and basically people just panic because the PCI data was bad, and they think that inflation is going to continue. They think that. You know, Powell, the Powell, Powell, the Powell are out there, uh, that he's going to be more hawkish and that the things are going to be worse and yada, 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 and all that kind of stuff. So that's what the, that's what that's all about. So that's that's it, guys. So so stop panicking. And guys, uh, you know, have a blessed weekend. And uh, don't forget to go down there. Lick the likes, uh, subscribe or don't, you know, uh, you know. I don't know what's going on. My, you know, bit of a rant. The views on the views on the videos are like going like down. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the algos hating on me or 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 you guys just don't like me anymore. But anyway, see this what it is. So guys, I'll see you in the next one. Be blessed. Be well. Uh, peace out.